Voltopia? No, um, I'm uh, looking at the uh, live stream on the uh, Does Your Games uh, uh, YouTube channel, hmm. and then it, it runs for like 10 seconds, and then next thing, it goes to my next video, which is some song that I was watching about a week ago. Oh, yeah, I just had to stop the stream. It wasn't on a low enough latency, um, so I wanted to make sure we were getting live comments from people. Uh, so I changed the latency, and it should be up and live now. Sorry about that. That was my fault entirely. But we are live on both our Discord and on um, our YouTube. So if you guys want to go around and just introduce yourselves, um, you're more than welcome to, just so everybody knows who you are. Great. Um, so I'm Luke Laurie. I'm going to be the yellow player showing you Whistle Mountain. And uh, so I've also designed games like uh, Dwellings of Eldervale, uh, co-designed uh, the Manhattan Project Energy Empire with Tom Jolly and a handful of other games, and co-designed this with Scott Caputo. Yes, I'm Scott Caputo. I think I am the black player today. So besides Whistle Mountain, I have another title with Busy Games with, uh, called Whistle Stop. And then I have also designed Sorcerer City, 100 Tori, and Luspa. So and and I am... Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. And I am uh, Marty Connell, and I'm with the podcast Rolling Dice and Teching Names, and somehow I got stuck with playing with the two designers, so this is just going to be a horrible experience. <laughs> you think that, but actually, um, you'd be surprised who won the game yesterday. It was not the designers. Oh, yeah, okay. Jer Jeremy Salinas crushed us yesterday. Um, yeah, brutally. Um, and he, uh, yeah, he had a knack for for this game. And uh, it this might be your day too to to humiliate the designers at their own creation. Oh, great! So I'm going to be compared to Jeremy. That's just awesome. That's right. Inevitably. <laughs> okay, so oh, I'll, I'll start. Right. Uh, I I'll forgot start to change the title on the, uh, the YouTube stream. Uh, so you guys keep going, and I will get that changed over. It still says okay. it has the wrong special guest listed. i got to get Marty's name on there. So I'm going to change that over, but I'll tell the YouTubers. You guys keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Keep the YouTubers happy. So um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, teach the game. We'll just give a run through pretty quick. Marty, you have some familiarity with the, with the rules, and then uh, – any of the uh, people listening in or uh, watching the video of this later on, uh, the rules are available on Board Game Geek, uh, and you can see more there. And we'll answer any questions as we go along. Uh, basic uh, premise here is that we are builders, and we're building in the Rocky Mountains. And uh, we're going about a construction project that is water-powered. And so as we build, um, there's water down at the bottom here of the board. And you'll notice that some of our workers are having a little trouble because they're down there in the whirlpool kind of struggling to get out. And as the uh, game goes on, we're going to be trying to move workers uh, from the right side area of the board, or excuse me, the left side area of the board, which is called the barracks, um, over to the right side of the board, which is the tower. And we do this by constructing scaffolds. And so these scaffolds are going to be covering areas of the grid board. We're going to be um, creating areas on which we're going to be able to build machines. So we're going to be bringing workers onto the scaffolds. We're going to be building machines. And when a machine is built, and they're built superimposed on top of the scaffolds, Whatever workers are in the area where the machine is built will get promoted. And so what happens is, as I build a machine in this area, for example, a red and black worker would be promoted by being moved over into the tower. The higher you're getting your workers in this tower, the more points they are worth. For example, workers on this level are worth four points. Workers that are able to make it all the way to the top level are worth 10 points. Workers at the end of the game that are out here in the scaffolds are not worth points, but workers down in the whirlpool are worth negative five points each. As we go about our work, um, we are going to be doing so by moving airships. So we each have three airships of different sizes. 
And so I have a small hot air balloon, for example, and a larger uh, two by one airship. And each time it is a turn to go and gather resources, what we call a collect turn, we're going to take an airship and either place it onto this grid um, on top of a machine or adjacent to machines and or resources, or we're gonna be placing it on one of the many notches around the edge of the board to take an action there. So we're going to be gathering resources primarily and triggering actions on machines by placing on the main board in the middle. And we're gonna go about gathering the things that we need to do this around the perimeter of the board, including in the top right-hand corner, uh, we have um, upgrades. And below that, we have scaffolds that we're able to get. We have an action space where we're able to save a worker from the um, whirlpool. These um, special abilities at the bottom, we're going to start the game by selecting one of those. Those are our starting upgrade special abilities. Um, along the left side of the board, these are all of our machines. And there are three sizes of machines, small, medium, and large. They have costs and they are built over time. And at the top of the board, we have cards, and cards provide free bonus actions, and you're able to get one, two, or three cards by taking that action. When um, you place an airship on the grid, you gain all of the resources you're adjacent to. So for example, if I place this small um, airship here, I am able to get a whistle, which is the resource directly above it, and I would also activate the machine in the middle which would give me a steal and a victory point. I can place an airship directly onto a machine also. So an action like this, for example, would give me both the steel or iron and the victory point. And it would also give me the water and the whistle uh, that are adjacent to where I place my airship. And so um, you can build combo turns where you can get a whole bunch of resources by one careful placement. And there's, there's some spatial aspect to how this is done. So as we're going about the placement, we will be kind of uh, orienting and arranging our workers in order to get the most stuff. Okay. Um, Scott, you want to jump in and fill in some things I may have left out so far? You've done a really good job. <laughs> Why, thank you. I didn't mention that uh, when you place along the water bar across the bottom, this provides water resource. So I could place here and get two water and one coal. And then there's also the fundamental part of this game where you're able to build scaffolds and just keep on going. Um, every time you build a scaffold, you gain points based on adjacency. So this scaffold building here would give me two points for two lateral adjacent sides. If I were to build this scaffold here, it would give me one, two, three, four points for four connecting um, lateral side segments. Now, if we build way up high, something happens, which I'll show you in a second. When you build above this line or even part way above the line that is the top of this bridge, we're going to raise the water. So there are water bars and in the real physical game, these water bars are gonna rest on top of like these rails off to the sides and the water will rise and it'll push any airships off the board that are there and any workers that are caught up in this would be swept down into the whirlpool. Now, as the game proceeds, we're going to be removing workers from the barracks on the left side, and that's what triggers the end of the game. So when there are no more workers in the barracks, everybody gets one more turn except for the player who triggered that game end. Um, so you get points from building scaffolds. You get points from building um, machines. You get points from acquiring the upgrades. And then um, you also can get points from gaining these ribbons. Uh, the first worker that moves into a level of the tower will be the only one that earns the ribbon. We score by uh, using uh, victory point tokens. And that's most of the game. Um, we're going to be starting the game by 
choosing one of these uh, starting abilities at the bottom. And so we choose those in reverse player order. And it looks like um, Scott is the, your icon's green, but your components are black and your um, um, cursor is green too, but you are going to be choosing first on the starting abilities. Yeah, should we talk about what they do for, for Marty? So yeah. The smuggler ah, is- That'd be great. When you place a worker, one of your meeple guys on a scaffold, you get one of the resources that it's next to. That's just when you move the work, move that worker. Yeah, okay. normally when, when you move a worker out onto the scaffolds and you have to move them onto an empty space, they actually don't collect any resources. Only mm. your airships normally collect resources. The smuggler allows you to break that rule and your worker gets to collect a resource. Ace pilot lets you play your airships on top of scaffolds, which usually is not allowed. If you have this one, that's allowed. The planner, when you and, get it uh, Scott, Scott, that, that ace pilot is only for one of your airships. It's only your medium-sized airship, your two-by-one. That's right. Good catch. The planner is when you get an upgrade, you get a, a free small machine of your choice. And the last one, the acquisitioner, each turn you may do a swap. You can turn in a scaffold for a card or a card for a scaffold, which gives a lot of flexibility. I'm remembering I didn't quite explain the pattern to your turns in that your turns will either be a turn where you're collecting, which is placing your airship out here and doing something, but then eventually you're going to have uh, the desire to forge, which is when you do all of your building. Um, we'll, we'll kind of go over that in a little detail when we get to the first forge turn, but on your forge turn, you will be building any of the, uh, uh, you can choose the scaffolds and machines that you've collected, and you can perform up to three builds and you get to move a uh, worker either from the whirlpool or from the barracks. And all of that is done by spending some resources. So, um, Scott, why don't you go ahead and collect or pick your starting ability? Yeah, I haven't, had, I haven't been the ace pilot or the smuggler recently. Those both sound interesting to me. Uh, I'll try the ace pilot. And Marty, I saw that you disconnected. Are you back again? Nope, it just it just left. So it's waiting for me to come back in. But okay. now I got to think about it because I was going to take the ace pilot because I kind of really understood that one. So okay. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Um, all right. So is it my turn or? It is. Okay. So I've still got the when I place a worker on the scaffold, I get to take one of the adjacent resources, a planner, or swap. So just at any time during my turn, I can just swap a scaffold for a card, a card for a scaffold. Yeah, once per turn, you can do that. And the other ones, when you get the upgrades, which are, you can have up to six, is that correct? You actually are not limited. Uh, there oh. are six spots, but you could have more. Oh, okay. I, um, actually, Luke, I think that's not true anymore. Oh, it's not true anymore? No, yes, it's correct. Yeah, it's six only. All right. Well, I'm, I, I am outdated. <laughs> I was gonna, I guess that's one of the things I thought I remembered from the rule book when I read last night. Um. Okay. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. Uh, requisitioner. I'm the smuggler, and I fly. My ships are. They're all variations on the Millennium Falcon. I was gonna say, can we call you Han Solo? Mm-hmm. I'm, my name is Luke. It's not really, a, I guess. That's fair. Okay. So uh, I think we're all set up. Now what we do is we uh, set up the board. And so the way this works is we're going to choose uh, one shape of... Um, oh, yeah, I didn't uh, put those people back. We're going to choose one shape of scaffold. And I'm going to choose first. So I'll take uh, two of the zigzag scaffolds. And then I'm going to place one on the board to make our starting board. And then each of you is going to do the same thing. 
So boom, there it is. And um, I'll, I'll make adjustments as needed to pieces and, and Matt can help with that too, I guess. Yeah, Luke's become a really good master at it, but I am also here. There's, there's, it's a dexterity game a little bit uh, working with the, the tabletopia, but it's, it's actually kind of fun too. To... All right, so um, Marty, you're next at uh, placing a scaffold on the board. So you take two of the same shape, and then you put oh, one on oh, the board. Oh, the same shape. Okay. Yeah. Well, here, I'll just take these two. And I pick one of those and put it on the board? Right. And that's going to establish what we have to work with at the beginning of the game here. So I'll just put it right there. Come on. It's cocked. All right, this is a dexterity game. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't worry about it if it if it doesn't click right away we'll we'll fiddle with it a little bit y'all right. can fiddle with it they don't have to be perfect for us to just play on either uh yeah one thing to be okay. careful of on tabletopia is as you're grabbing pieces like if you grab a card or an upgrade if you drag it across the middle of the board and then kind of let go and then grab it again you might end up knocking some things over as you go okay and then scott's setting up his scaffold over there so we really blocked off these resources here because you have to be able to place adjacent to them except scott has that second airship that can place right on the scaffold so he's going to have choices we will not marty yeah that was that see i've already screwed this up so i'm going to flip the table real quick and we'll reset. thanks marty okay <laughs> Well, Scott's, right. I think, Scott's ability may be specific, and you may have to check the rules, because I'm pretty sure I'm right, but it has to be a single piece of scaffold, though. Like, you can't place it on, over two different pieces of scaffolding. Is that is that true? I will hey. reference right now and double-check to make sure I am correct. Because, okay. again, we've all played in different iterations of the game, so... My ace thinking pilot. is you may place any yeah. of your airships on a single scaffold. It may not extend beyond the scaffold, collecting any resources adjacent to or directly underneath your airship. While your airship is on the scaffold, no one may place machines or workers on the same space your airship occupies. There you have it. Okay. Okay. So I'm the first to go and I'm going to take my airship and place it right there along the water. I'm, I'm next to the water bar, so I'm gonna take two water and I'm going to take one gold. And my turn is over. All right, Your so really, really the only option I have right here is to place an airship, I guess. Um, you, you actually technically could forge to start the game. Um, so oh. you can always you can always forge too, and that would be the building. Your first build is free. Your second one costs a water. Your third one costs a water, and then when you spend gold, that's how you will move your workers from the whirlpool or the barracks out onto the grid on to an empty scaffold space. Oh, but I've got nothing to build right now, right? You have one scaffold to start with. Scaffold. I'm thinking machine. Okay. Okay. Um, but placing scaffold doesn't get you anything. Gets you points. Points. That's what it's all and about. And changes the board. Points. All right. So uh, I'm going to zoom in. What's that resource? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take this, rotate it, and we'll stick it right there. So is that one water, one iron? Correct. Okay. One water. One iron. Is this how the pieces will look, like little shapes of iron, etc., in the game? That I is believe correct. So. Nice. Yeah, I think everything here looks pretty much like the real deal, for the most part. Okay, Scott. Okay, I'm going to take my big ship. I think it's a the dreadnought. The red. The... Oh, oh, there's a ship there. What? Yeah, yeah that, that's my ship. Oh, I missed that. 
That's in stealth mode. Because <laughs> it's yellow. <laughs> it, it might be the Millennium Falcon. It might be a bird of prey. Let's see. I will do... Rotate this guy. Right there. So that's three waters and one gold. What a cheater. Where's the gold come from? I missed that. It's above where he is. Oh, okay. Oh, let me just tilt the table. Oh, I see it. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, you got to rotate the table and you can see what else is there. <laughs> Stupid tabletopia. So now I I, I I got a question about this as it, as it comes back around. I was thinking about this. So you, you're going to, we're just going to start building machines. You can put the ships on the machines, but then won't you be covering the art that tells you what it gives you? Do you find yourself constantly picking up pieces that are already there to see what that machine does or gives you? Once in a while, yes, but there aren't going to be that many machines to keep track of. Okay. So uh, there will be two or three that you'll need to pay attention to at a time. And then at most four or five, um, because what's going to happen is the water is going to rise too and start covering them up as we go mm -hmm. along. So yes, you might move a, you might move an airship once in a while to see what's there. Okay. So that's my turn. I'm, I was thinking we we're going to have a fourth player here and then it all grew quiet. So, I'm going to play today quite a bit differently, and I'm going to go and get some cards. So, I'm going to take my little hot air balloon, and I'm going to go get some cards. And so, the cards, you can play one per turn. I'm going to spend one water and one coal to get the card. You can spend any two resources to get three cards. So I'm going to drop these down into my hand. And then I'm going to take a look at them because I just might play one. Mm -hmm. And I think I will not. I'm going to hold off on playing any cards, and my turn is over. All right. So any of your ships can go in the gaps around the board, correct? Correct. funny i was gonna go draw cards too now i gotta change my mind <laughs> um I was just, looking just, around, <laughs> just looking around at the cost here of different things around the board so luke and scott have you guys ever had a moon pie i have to ask <laughs> that's why what's the context here well marty typically brings moon pies for people um, especially at Gen Con, he's got big boxes of them. He just hands them out like crazy. So I wasn't sure if you guys had experienced one yet. Uh, and so this is this is one of the things we're missing by not being able to hang out in person. You are absolutely one hundred percent correct. In fact, I've had other publishers. I've been having a couple meetings today, and they all said one thing I'm missing, Marty's. I know that every year I'm going to see your face, and I'm going to get a moon pie. I went, yeah. Aww. So, yeah, next year, I'll make sure to have you set up here. I need coal. Oh, I can do this. There's not a lot of coal on the board there. There's, there's, just that, there's that one, but it's blocked. But uh, I, I'm not sure if we mentioned this, but whistles are wild, if you can get yes. your hands on whistles. And whistles, I don't see any way to get those on the board right now. Am I missing that? There's not. Okay. Um, and none of these... See. Gold can be used for anything, correct? Uh, not gold, but whistles. Whistles, whistles are the wild I'm one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, I understand it. In uh, Dwellings of Eldervale, gold is wild. That's another game of mine. 
Uh, you know what? Let's just, first time playing, let's just see what this is. I'm going to take the air balloon. I'm going to stick it up here in this slot and spend two coal to pick up that double gold. Is that correct? That seems right, except I'm not sure why you have a, you have a steel and a coal oh, in that Oh, that row. is why. I put it in the wrong place. So I'm going to retcon that. Short. Yeah. I'm going to retcon that and pull that right back down here. People watching this going, oh my gosh, he's such an idiot. Um, just blame it on Tabletopia. That's that's what I like to do. Oh, so just Tabletopia yeah, as well. I, I, I just put it in the wrong spot. So those calls so three. If, if you're looking for a couple ideas. Sure. Um, you could go and rescue a guy from the water by the going to the bottom right-hand corner and putting one out on the scaffold. You could go and get scaffolds. The first one's free. So you don't actually need a whistle to get more than one. Um, you can't do the cards because I blocked that. Or you could go out and get some more steel or iron, and then you can come back and get a medium building on your next turn, a medium uh, machine. Mm -hmm. But when I place my worker on the scaffold, if I put it over something, do I get it? No. The worker does not give you anything on the scaffold. Okay. Right. Yeah. Just your airships. Your airships are your workers, and your workers are... Um, they're point scoring vectors. You're trying to get them over into the tower. Yeah. Let's just make that for more confusing. Your workers Sorry. aren't like your typical. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. All right. It's so, a... you know what? Uh, let's see. But if I build a machine, if a machine goes on top of a worker, that's how you promote the worker. Correct. All right. So, let's, go, let's just go ahead and see that. I'm going to put this right over here. I'm going to take one of my workers. I just place it on an open spot on a scaffold, correct? Correct. Now, I would assume people don't want to put it right here right yet because the water is going to rise, so I'll drop it right there. Now, the water might rise, but we got a ways to go to get the scaffolds and a mm -hmm. machine up above the line. So another oh. thing to think about is the chance that if you get a guy, I'm not saying your choice is bad, but if you get a guy over into this spot, you get a ribbon that allows you to rescue another one. Um, but that could be a risky move too. All right. But if I put it here, then you can put a machine that covers multiple scaffolds. And if that happens, he gets promoted. Correct. All right. I am done with my turn. Sorry it took so long, guys. No worries. This one <clears throat> can be a puzzler to figure out your first time. Except, right. for, except for Jeremy from Man vs. Meeple. <laughs> All right, hang on. What are you doing, Scott? Just trying to rotate it back to where it was. Let's see. And then this one was here. There you go. Okay, I think I got it. I am going to forge. Mm, I just want to see oh, how this works. Ready. There's some building building happening now. So I'm going to take this guy back. What's he doing? I'll build this scaffold here. I'll rotate it. Put it right like that. So that will score me one, two, three, four points, which I will get in a second. And I want to move a guy. I'll spend one gold right at the bottom. Right. Right. And right there. Okay. I think that's what I want to do. Yeah. I think that works. Okay. And I'm just going to get my four points, and that's all I'm going to build. Okay, so I've got a giant um, juggernaut airship left, and I have gold, and I have water. I really could use some better stuff still. I think I'm going to take my... Don't you put it there. Cool. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this card right here, uh, which Ooh. is a recycle card. And Ooh. it allows me to take a scaffold and discard it. 
Uh, discarded oh scaffolds are going to go to the bottom of the stack, but uh, we can't really do that. So I'm just going to put it off to the side down here for now. And I'm going to take a steel or iron and a whistle because those are the resources depicted on it. And then, is it, um, Scott, is this one any two resources or is it the depicted resources? It's depicted, it looks like. And that one goes there. And so that's a free action. I can play a card every turn. And then I'm going to take my Juggernaut and I'm going to fly to the scaffold zone and I will spend one whistle and I will acquire two scaffolds. And I'm done. Okay. So I'm going to take this big one, flip it, drop it right here like it's hot, get a now, now I get a coal and an iron, my second coal, right? Correct. Okay. And I'm, I'm done. And then it is Scott's turn. All right. I'm going to do some more ace piloting here. I put this right here. I set it up. I get a gold, a steel, and a coal. That is cheap. Yeah. yeah, that aerial is pretty nice. And uh, Marty, don't forget about your special abilities. You can trade in scaffolds for cards and vice versa. That free? So that's so once per turn, you can do that for free. Mm -hmm. And then it looks like I'm going to have to forge no matter what because I need to get my airships back. So I'm going to pull back my airships. There's my juggernaut, my medium sized airship, and my hot air balloon. And then I can go about building. And at this point, I don't have any machines to build, but if I'm careful about how I build my scaffolding, I could get a lot of points. Um, the more uh, adjacent sides they touch, the better. So I'm going to take this scaffold here and rotate it and build it for free right here and that's four points for that arrangement then i'm going to spend a water and i'll do a second build and i will rotate this scaffold here and i will get two three four five points for wow. that build that's nine points and then I'm going to be going to grab some stars. I'm going to be moving a dude by spending two gold. And I'll be rescuing one of my gold workers from the water. And uh, let's see. Where do you guys have workers? I'm going to put my worker right there would give me a coal or water. I'm going to place my worker right here. The reason being is my special ability allows me to actually gain a resource um, by placing a worker. So I'm going to gain a whistle, which is wild. And I am, oh, I just realized I can't see my card hand. Where's my card hand? Um, did, how many cards did you have? I had two. You oh, okay. changed seats from the blue seat to the, I mean, from the yellow seat, it looks like, to the blue seat by accident, Luke. <laughs> yeah, oh. So your cards may be back in your yellow seat. I don't even see the yellow seat. All right. Well, I'll try to figure that out. They're plus uh, signs at the top of. They should be plus signs at the top of your screen. Got it. 
Yep. The the yellow plus sign was right over the yellow part of the board. So, yeah, let's have a little more fun. Um, just for kicks, I'm going to toss a line. Um, no, I don't have the resources for that. Correction, I am done. My turn. All right. So I guess I'll be forging, so I'll pull everything back. Then I can build this scaffold for free. So I'm going to put it right there. Is that four okay. points? It looks like five. There's one. a three. The one on the bottom. That oh, counts. that counts too. Okay. And then the side. Oh, nice. So I'll grab a, a fiver. Correct me on that, Scott or Matt. The bottom one counts, the bottom point. Against the water. I would have to reference the rules, actually. I did not think so, but I will check for you guys real quickly. All right. While you do that, I'll go ahead and, and finish. Yeah, that might not. It's... Um, then I'm going to spend uh, one of my gold. Take another one. Put it right Here. Needs to and go in a, a space that doesn't have a resource on it. It appears it. you do not get one for the edge that meets the water. All okay. right, I'll, I'll fix that in a second. Um, so you got to put it on a space that does not have. So I'll go right there. And I think that's my turn then, because I don't, I can't pay, I couldn't pay two. I don't have anything else to build, so I couldn't Here, pay an extra. We're one. not being very successful getting machines yet. We're gonna have to get some machines going. All right, All right. is it my turn? It yeah. is your turn, Scott. Did you talk about machines? I am gonna go get a machine. I'm gonna go get the welder. It cost me three steel. I happen to have two steel and a whistle. I will do that for my turn. I'm going to ends my turn. place this airship right there in the middle and get awesome mm. stuff. Wow. So I'm going to get two coal, one iron, and one whistle. And I am done. Oh, wait. Where, Scott, where are you going to build that building, that uh, machine you got there? I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put the balloon up here. Two coal. Spend two coal. And get, do I have a choice of the three? Yes, you can choose any of those three. I'll take the metal pointer. I'm done. Okay, Scott. I'll pull out a new small. All right, I'm going to forge. So I take my ship back. Let's see, I'm going to spend a gold. To move. Help take your, your other ship back too. Oh, oh yeah. Well, take your guy from the second row. Put him there. No, I'm not red. Okay. I keep doing that. I'm black. I'll go there. I mean, you can help Marty out. You can throw his guys a line. I think he is going to help you out. Actually, yeah, it looks like I probably will be. I'm going to be placing it right there, but we can get some guys okay, out. I'll move him. So, Scott gonna... it gets promoted first, and he gets the red ribbon. I'm also going to get one of these other ribbons. And then 
Uh, wait, where was this other worker? The bottom worker. It was. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I already got that. Wow. Ribbon. Okay. So I put this here, which gives me, I think it was 12 points. Yeah, 12 points for that. And I think if I want to save anybody, I will wait for the time being. Uh, that is my turn. Okay. Your, uh, I can turn this. Your audio is your, your audio's pretty garbled there, Scott. Pretty hard to hear what you're saying. FYI. So the the new the new machine that comes out is uh, spend an iron to get a scaffold, and so you can place right on that if you like. And I think that looks awesome to do. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to take my juggernaut, my giant airship, and I'm going to rotate it, and I'm going to get two coal, one water, and spend one iron to get a scaffold. Spend an iron. I get the water because I'm next to the water bar. And two coal because they're right adjacent to my airship. And I'm done. So those those ribbons along the the first level down there. There's three others. They're all the same ribbon, and they give you a ribbon that is a free um, rescue from the water action. Okay. And do you use it when you take it, or just any time during the game? Any time during the game. Um, so each turn, you can play one ribbon and one card, um, mm. maximum. So they're they're free bonus actions, and you can accumulate them and use them at the right time. Okay. So it's not going to be as good, but it's going to dictate what I do next turn. I'm going to put this here, and I'll get one water. Well, I'm just going to turn, was it an iron? Yeah, it's an iron into a scaffold. Okay. Well, and I didn't grab my scaffold. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I'll get a water. And I'm going to turn in the iron and grab one scaffold of my choice, right? Right. We'll take this one. Done. Scott? All right. I am going to use my ace pilot again and place it on top of the scaffold so I get two a coal and a water. So he gets two. You get two whistles, a coal and a water. Yeah. Yeah, special abilities OP. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Are you done, Scott? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to go and get myself a medium sized machine. So whistles are wild. So I'm going to spend one whistle and two iron and here's what we're going to get are we double checking to make sure he's placing all in single scaffolds looks like he is he's got it all mapped out um let's see somebody help me out with the archives as uh three cards two discarded Gain a card? Yeah, you draw three and keep one. Oh, it's mm. draw three, keep one. That makes... Ooh, that's, that's cool. Um, and then the crane is pretty cool. It's um, gaining a lot of scaffolds. I'm kind of liking the crane. I'm going to take that one. So I'll be putting that down here. And I'm going to go ahead and... Toss a line. So tossing a line is a card I'm playing, which allows me to pay one gold. And, oh, wait, do I not have any gold? I had gold a little while ago. Okay, I'm giving up a whistle to do this. And I'm going to be taking a person 
from the water and placing them up here on the scaffold. Right there. Now, when I place a guy on the scaffold, I get something I'm adjacent to, and I will take a water. That's my subtle, perhaps less OP ability. Your turn, Marty. All right. I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to grab a scaffold. And then uh, once per turn, I can turn in a scaffold for a card. I'm going to drop that here and take one card to my hand. There's that card thing. I'm done. Okay. So, Marty, yeah. I know Tony was a big fan of uh, Whistle Step. Do you think he's pretty sad that he missed out on this one? It is, but you know what Tony is going to be like, oh, no, about he is uh, not into Tetris-y type games, so I'm really curious to see what he thinks about this. this. Yeah, the spatial part of this game is for some people that's heaven, and for some people that's a real challenge. Yeah. Puzzling. <laughs> There's definite puzzling in this game. But he will for sure want to try it just because he loved Whistle Stop so much. So I got the whistle and a coal by putting down my hot air balloon, and that is my turn. Okay. I'm going to be um, pulling back all my airships. So this is a forge turn. Comes my airships returning triumphantly. And then I'm going to perform a free build. And I'm going to do a movement of a worker. So I'm going to do my free build as building this scaffold here. And I'm going to actually build this scaffold like so. And this is only one point build. And the intent here is, well, you'll see. Um, I'm going to get my one point. And then I'm going to spend a water to conduct a second build, which is to build my machine. And my machine, the crane, is going to go over right where my guys are. So I'm going to join you in the tower on the sad one point spot, but I'm also going to get to the next spot here, which gives me four points and a four point ribbon. Pretty good. So you don't have to start at the bottom and work your way up? No. It's uh, you go in a straight line from where your worker is. So it's oh, the highest, it's I didn't the pick up on that. They're at. So I went in a straight line straight across from where my worker was. I should uh, have explained that more when you put your worker down here on the yep. bottom. I did not grasp that. Okay, makes Sorry. sense. No, that's so right. I'm going to get uh, 10 points and one point, which I already got. Um, but I also, my smuggler ability, oh, isn't, hasn't come into play yet. Now I'm going to play a free card for my hand. So this is where the cards give you those combo turns. And this card allows me to gain one resource of each type that I don't have any of at the moment. So I'm going to get a, a whistle and a steel and a gold. Nice. nice. So I'm going to turn right around and spend the gold because I need to save a dude. And the whistle... Okay, so I spend the gold, and then I move the guy from the barracks up to this high point right here. And up there, I move right next to a gold and a whistle, and my smuggling ability um, gets me another whistle. Yeah, smuggling's OP. There you there's, go. Only, there's only one ability that's not OP on this board. 
<laughs> or I'm just or I'm just plot playing it right now. I'm just kidding. It's a it's a tricky one. I think Scott played that one yesterday. I'm gonna cash in my ribbon for my four points and I'm done. All right. Well, for sure I'm gonna be forging. So I'll pull everybody back here. I'm doing this correctly. I get to build uh, for free. Well, I can spend one water. I'm going to spend a water and build, make two builds. Is that correct? Right. So your first build's free. Your second build will cost a water. Okay. So I'm going to make two builds. So for sure, I'm going to put this machine right there on my top of my guy. So then he moves over to here and I take one of these ribbons. That's that right. is correct. Then I'll drop the machine right here. And you'll get five points for that build. And what's the reason for the five? Is the, the water it the has two five, five It has five points on it. That the, the start machine. at the top center. Scott's making some adjustments. That's good. One, two, three, four. So the machine doesn't count. The adjacent's just only scaffold and water. Correct. Not yeah, water. Machines, but water doesn't count. Have, the machines have victory points indicated right on them. Oh, that's, that's it. That. That's what I'm missing. Got it, got it, got it. Yep, 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 yep. All right. All right. So You've then got I can do another with... build. Still. Yes, I do. So I got this other scaffold. So. Now you can come join me up high if you like, or you could build that for points by getting a bunch of adjacency. Or both if you can find a good spot always. I mean, so go there. Mm -hmm. I'll drop it there. So that's what, one, two, three, four, five? Is that right? Yep, five points. That's a good build. Five. Then I'm going to play a card. Um, this gives me two whistles. Where's the discard pile for the, oh, just up here. And I'm gonna leave one whistle out. Uh, I'm gonna spend one whistle as a gold so I can save a person. Yeah, one whistle gets one out of the barracks. Two whistles can get one out of the world. Oh, uh, the barracks. That's that's what I want to do. And let's see where are the whistles. Whistle, whistle, whistle. Is that the there brown? There are the brown ones. Okay. Yeah. Got it. If you zoom in on them, you can see they're the same shape as the whistle icon. All right. So I can take one out and put them somewhere on the board, and we'll go. And we'll go right there. And I think that's it. Great, Scott. Oh, you know what? I could I could spin this. I mean, well, I'm going to save it in case I get to the end. It's a get out of a uh, water free pass. Now, yeah, did, did you say great it, Scott or did you say great Scott? A, I, I was thinking about it. OK, but, uh, we're not quite ready for <laughs> time travel. So, um, yeah, Marty, you can save that for the right time. And getting those workers as high as you can also is good for more points mm -hmm. or getting it in the right spot to be first to grab a ribbon. Right. Okay. So All right, I'm gonna go get an upgrade. Okay, first upgrade of the game here. Let's make three whistles to get the stockpile. Which okay. reduces the strengthener, which gives a point for every scaffold that you build. So I have the stockpile, which if I have eight or more resources at the end of my turn, and I get two points. And I have more than eight resources, so I will get two points. And that is Oh, uh, okay. So now we've got something interesting going on here because we have multiple buildings that are adjacent to each other. So I'm gonna show you how to make the most of that right now. I'm gonna take my juggernaut and I'm gonna place it on the crane. Now, when I'm going to take a great spot here, but this is not the only spot. So you can place 
on the metal pointer here and do a similar move, but I'm going to be placing it on the crane and I will be getting a whistle and a gold, which are adjacent to me. I'll be getting the iron and the victory point from the metal pointer, and I'll be able to take the whistle and trade it in yep. for two scaffolds. Wow. So total, yep. I get two scaffolds, a gold, a victory point, and an iron. There's actually two whistles there. Oh, am I not seeing one above your airship? No, oh, there's one right there to the right and one below. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, then I'll take one of those whistles. The other one I will spend for two scaffolds. I'll uh, go with an S zigzag shape and an L shape. Um, I'll get a victory point and an iron. And a gold. Gold, gold, gold. Now, to use a machine, do you have to be on it, or can you be adjacent to it? You can do either one. You can be okay. adjacent or on it. And my turn is up, and it is your turn, Marty. All right, so let me see if I'm doing this right. I'm going to grab the big boy. And if I do I have to, can I span, like, right there? No, you'll have to place it all the way on a um, ah, machine. machine. So you can use your two by one, your medium sized here instead. Yes. Okay. All right. So I could take this one and drop it right here and then uh, take advantage. Hold up. You can't I can't it put it on the scaffold. scaffold. Right. You can play it right on the machine, though. And if you're on this machine, you are adjacent to the machine above you. Okay. And I'll move mine out of the way so you can see what it does. All right. So um, so on this one I put it on, I will get an iron and a victory point. Yep. And a gold that's adjacent to you, to your right. All right. So I'll grab a gold. Okay. And then you get to spend a whistle to get two scaffolds. And I will do that. So I'll spend a whistle. I will take two scaffolds, take this one. I'm going to leave one there and draw another car with my ability. And I think that's it for me. Great Scott. Great Scott. Right. So I'm going to withdraw. I'm going to have to take all my chips back. And I'm just going to get spent gold to move one of my guys up. I'll be moving the guy over to see. Is it once one person's color is all gone from the barracks or all are gone from the barracks? It's when they're all gone from the barracks. Okay. Okay. So it cost me a goal. My ship's back. I still have eight or more resources. So I get two points. And that's okay. It. So you're just going to collect points every turn by just hoarding your stuff. Okay. Um, I'm going to fly over and get a cool machine. Um, I could get. I could get a giant one at this point. I might as well since that's fun and worth a lot of points. So I'm going to send my little hot air balloon over there. And it's going to cost me three iron and two coal. So I'm going to spend two coal and two iron and one whistle. Use the wild resource to cover the difference. And then I'm going to pick one of these giant machines. And the giant machines can be real game changers. So the whistle surplus on the bottom there, for example, changes the rule that now whistles are not wild. Um, oh. 16 points. The megaphone gives you a whistle, and then each player gets a ribbon. Holy smokes. 
and then the um, machine hub is you pay a water and you can activate a machine. And I think that's oh. either one in your supply or one on the board. Wow. Also, if you look the machine hub, when you build it, you get to, you get to activate two machines. Oh, I think I'm taking the machine hub because that looks like the most fun. Oh, the, the one in the bottom, this, uh, Whistle surplus gives you two free resources and 16 points. Oh, that's good too. I'm going to take this one. All right, so I have a giant machine and my turn is over. All right, I'm going to take All right, I'm going to take this little guy. Little guy little guy i'm gonna put it right there just a little guy oh that's a great move so you get a water a whistle two coal no one coal but you get to use the machine next to you to spend one iron to gain a scaffold water whistle coal spend one iron to get a scaffold but what i'm going to do is leave that scaffold there and draw another card Let me see what I got here. See if it's worth. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and play this card. Uh oh, let's Let's see. Blueprints. Is that just two free cards? Let's see. I'm not seeing the card anywhere. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, let's the draw board. two more cards. OK, well, that sounds kind of good. One for two. And then uh, you can't play any more cards this turn. Right. Because there's a one card per turn. So no infinite loops on card play. Yep. And I think that's it for me. Okay, Scott. Okay, so I am going to ace pilot myself right here. Ah, fell over. Well, it's going to give me a whistle, and then I get the steel and the point. Pretty full on water, but I'm going to use the whistle to buy to get two scaffolds. So basically, I will get two scaffold, a steel, and a point. So I'm going to get my little, steel light spot here. There we go. Point and two scaffold. I will take this one here, and I will take. Uh, this okay so those two okay it's my turn marty you ready for a helping hand i'm sure okay i'm going to place i'm going to be uh Pulling my ships back. I'm doing a forge turn. So let's see. Got the juggernaut and my little blimp. And we're going to have some fun here. I'm going to do my free build right up here and score four points. And then I'm going to bend one water to perform a second build. And that will be like so. This one will be one, two, three, three points. And then I could, I'll take a five and get back to and I'm going to perform a move action to move a worker which is going to cost me one gold and I'm going to take a worker from the barracks and I'm going to move it right up here and I'm going to collect a gold because I am moved adjacent to it and that's my smuggler special ability 
Then my last and final build, I will spend a water and I will be um, I will be building the machine hub. So the machine hub is going to go right here. And when I build it, I'm going to score 10 points and activate two machines. So I score 10 points and everybody underneath that gets promoted. So I'll promote myself first here to grab this ribbon. I'll then promote my other guy here to grab this ribbon. And then I will promote Marty. Join me here in the tower. Enjoy the fruits of our labor. And then the machine goes there. Then I get to activate two machines. And so I will spend one whistle to gain two scaffolds using the crane. So I like the L shapes. I'm partial to the L shapes, but I'm going to get an L and a T shape. And then the other activation, I will take a victory point and a, a victory point and an iron. And then I am done. Wow. Uh, that was pretty impressive right there. Thank you. Did you design this game or something? I did. So um, on a design note, so you know I, I tend to build worker placement games, and Scott has a tendency to build um, tile placement and spatial kinds of games. So um, we think of that as kind of the uh, chocolate and peanut butter of the Reese's peanut butter cups you're looking at in front of you. Um, That's good. Combining our skills. It's good. I like it. I yeah, like the this. Water, the what? water rises too, right? Oh, oh yeah. I was going to ask about that. This it is does. cool. This is what I, I really like this part of the game when this starts happening. Okay. So the water rises and, oh, you know what that does? That means I can't use that machine that I went to just use a minute ago because it was underwater the second I build this thing. Which was what? It was just so it would just be an, uh, an a iron victory, and a victory, a victory point. point. Yeah. Yeah. So I if if to, if the machine is back. if the machine is partially covered, it can't be used at all anymore. That's correct. I'm giving back an iron and a victory point. But no worries, no regrets there. Yeah, so the water can stay stable for quite a bit of time. And then uh, suddenly people will start building above that line uh, with machines and it can, it can rise pretty quick. And if you're not careful, your workers are gonna get swept into that whirlpool and you're not gonna save them in time for the game to end. Okay. All right, so it's not as cool of a combo, but let's see what we can do here. Um, I'm going to take my last ship. I'm going to go up here to the small machine. I'm going to pay a whistle in the coal. Be able to do that. Then I'm going to grab the two gold. The, which one's more points? Probably the same. No, the wet gold's worth more. I'll grab this one. Okay. So I've done that. So now I'm going to play a card. And this is what's this one called? I keep zooming in. Craft. So I'm going to spend a gold to build. Oh, before I play that card, I was going to spend this token to save a, a guy in the in the whirlpool. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Is that how that works? So if I spend it and then take it and put him right here. Yeah, you can do that. Then continue with the craft action. So I played the card. I played the gold to be able to take this. I'm going to put it 
basically on top of where I put him. So that would push him over here and this right here. And I would collect five, uh, eight points. Is that right? You don't want to take me with you? Don't take him with you. Okay. He told me not to. Well, that's a. I really like Scott's position right there. That's a really great position. No free rides, Scott. No free rides. All right. I That's see a lot of it. yellow and yellow and red in the tower. We're we're kind of picking on Scott. It's okay. Okay, so that one doesn't raise the water because the the machine wasn't above the line, not above mm -hmm. the danger line. So it's only the machine or the scaffold that'll raise the water. Only the machines. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go over to here. Hey, that's my move. I invented that. Except the machine below doesn't function anymore. Fine. So I get two whistles and a gold. But I'm using one of the whistles to get two scaffolds. So I get a whistle, a gold, yep. two scaffolds. So gold, whistle, and I got a scaffold. I will take these and I still got more than eight resources. I'll take another two points. And that's my turn. Okay. Um, that was pretty good, Scott, but let's see um, what you think about this one here. So, I'm going to take my juggernaut and I'm going to use all, almost all. I'm going to use almost all these machines. So I'm going to rotate and fit right in here. Now I'm going to get everything I'm adjacent to with that juggernaut. So I get a whistle. If I add that to my supply. And I get a water and a gold. So I can collect these in any order I want. So you can build your combo and gather the resources you need as inputs and then use them as outputs as needed. So then, um, well, I'm noticing a ribbon over here. This one isn't mine. This is a discard. I'm going I'm to yep. put it down here. Okay. Um, this is my, my stuff over here. I don't want to accidentally take something that's not mine. Then I'm going to spend a whistle i'm going to be using the the crane that's right underneath uh um, scott's juggernaut so i'm going to spend one whistle and get two scaffolds and i'll mix up my shapes a little bit here and then i'm going to use the machine hub and spend a water and um rules clarification for you matt can I use the same building I or the same machine I already used? Like that crane again? Oh, great question. I believe the answer is yes. Scott, if you don't know, yeah. I will dive into the uh, rules real quick. I don't think there's a limit on that. I think it's yes. So if I have to take it back, I'll take it back. But I'm going to take two more scaffolds otherwise. And I spent a whistle to do that. So I... I've never had this many scaffolds. I don't know that in any time I've ever played this game. And I'm going to um, ditch my ribbon for six points. And I am done. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I definitely got, I got to forge. So I'm going to pull everything back. Can I play a card at any point during my turn? More or less, yes. Um, kind of between things and after, before things. All right, because I set up my last turn to spend resources to play this card right here that's beside my board, Charity. Uh -huh. So I'll get one item for every empty row, I think, right? Each one empty row. For, right, yeah. So each of the uh, resources you don't have, you gain one of each of those. Yep. So, so are you talking specifically about the machine hub? 
Yeah, so I use the machine hub. So activate any two different machines on the grid. Spend one water to activate any machines on the grid. So they have to be two different for the machine hub's use specifically. But if you land next to it, you could use it. But if you can use the machine hub then to activate it once. But you can't double activate it with the machine hub. The the two different is when you build it. That's when you get two. When you use oh, it, okay. you just okay. do the one. Then it says so, any. The words are any, so that means any. And that means I did it right. Yes, exactly right. I'm good, and I'm I'm proud of my scaffold collection. Oh, these are flippable tiles. That's good to know. All right. They are. So, yeah, I should my, have pointed that out. Yeah, you for my free those. build, I'll put this right here. Nice. So that's then I'm gonna, uh, set, two, uh, three points. Yep. Uh, I'll grab those in a second. Three points. Then I'm going to, I don't have anything else to build. So I will spend the gold to pull another guy from the barracks and go right there. And I think okay. that's my turn. Let me get the three points. That's it. Oh, let's get uh, one turn. All righty, Scott. Okay, I'm gonna go use my small hot air balloon to go get another upgrade. I will be getting the strengthener. Which shows the pawn shop. So you can turn any two resources into a point. Strengthener, whenever I build a scaffold, I get an extra point. Awesome, three water. One, two. I just looking at those upgrades, I could be comboing some of those upgrades with my starting power if I invested in that. I still have eight resources, so I get another two points. And okay. Uh, All right, I'm going to go and get myself a small machine. And so I'll be flying over to the machine shop. And I will spend two coal to get. I'm going to get the shiny pointer for her. It'll be worth seven points when I build it. And I am done. So All right. Well, where are my resources? Well, since it's there, it worked pretty well last time. I'm going to put that little guy there to get a coal, a whistle, and activate. The, oh, and the machine above it. So a coal, a whistle, water, and gold. That's a lot of stuff. Most excellent move. So what you're going to find is as the water rises and things change, there's going to be abundances and then suddenly there will be scarcities that you have to watch for. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, so Marty, you're finished. I am done. Okay. Scott. Okay. Let me see here. Uh... Yeah, actually, that could work. So I will place my some more ace piloting. And I'll be right here. So I get a steel and a water. I'm going to use the water to activate a machine, and I'll use that to get the machine that gives me a gold and a water. So I get basically a steel a gold and a water. Yep. Nice. And I still have resources, so I will get another two points. All right. Um, Scott, what I really wanted you to do is move um, out of the way. And you didn't, so you're still there. And I'm still there, and that's a problem, too. So I really need some water, though, and I need a lot of water because I need to build things. So I'm going to actually go right down next to the water. 
and I'll just get two water and I'm done. Marty? Yeah. Uh, let's see. I my resources are here. Can't go there. Um, all right, take this little guy, put it right there. So I get a water and a gold, but I'm going to use that water. Anything beside it? No. To activate the machine above it to activate the machine over here to spend one whistle to get two um, scaffolds. Uh -huh. But I'm just going to grab one and turn in one for a card. So I'm just going to draw oh, a card right. and that'll be my turn. Yeah, yeah. With that abundance of scaffolds, you might be able to make a lot of that because you can, uh, you can go back and forth trading between cards and scaffolds. Um, while I can go ahead and uh, uh, play, I'm going to play this card right here, but y'all can go ahead and continue because what it is, it's going to draw three cards, discard a card. Got it. So I'll go ahead and draw while y'all continue. So I don't think that'll right. stop you. Okay. Uh, I draw my ships back. And I'm going to move that up, spend a gold to do that. This all right, so I need you all to answer this question for me. It hasn't been posed in chat yet, but it's for, for Matt Ryan's information. What's the one okay. thing you miss about physically being at Gen Con the most? And what's the one thing you don't miss at all about being at Gen Con? physically there well uh for me people um just seeing people having a great time um i kind of love the vibe and uh there's so many people that i know that the only places that i see them are at conventions um i've also been i haven't gone in a few years uh to gen con i went for i think five years in a row or four years in a row and then I took a couple years off, and I was most definitely going to be there this year because uh, of this game, uh, Dwellings of Eldervale, and one other game um, was originally going to be out that's been postponed uh, probably till next year, too. So it was going to be a really big, exciting time for me uh, with these games uh, that I've worked on getting released. And so I miss all that. Um, what I don't miss is I've always had to stay at a hotel far away um and be like drive 10 miles or something this was the first year where i was going to be right there at the convention and it didn't work out uh, i would say i agree with luke i mean the energy of gen con is just amazing i mean i love how people are get so excited they, they are lining up and there's like the big crowd uh and uh, so I think that's like when people first come into the the exhibitor hall on the first day, it's just a really so much excitement. So I was really looking forward to being there with Luke at the Bezier Games booth, demoing this game. Yeah, there's there's something incredible about seeing the faces, you know, watching people's faces while they're playing your games um, for the very first time and. And there's that they, they feel like excited and lucky because, you know, this is all new and shiny and all that. That's that's pretty awesome. And and uh, knowing Luke, as I do, I would uh, it, we would have been at Gen Con together. And I think there would have been some whiskey <laughs> drunk. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe uh, some beer. 
Always a good scotch involved. I think uh, looking forward to that. Is uh, it my turn? Did did Scott already take his turn? I uh, yes, I took all my ships back and I moved one guy up. And I I got two more points. And you're not building all those scaffolds, huh? Not yet. Okay. Well, I'm going to get something done here. Maybe I'll be setting you up for something I don't want you to do, but... I'm Marty, while he to... gets stuff done, what do you miss and don't miss at all about conventions? Uh, so... Uh, what I don't miss is the pre-con s- stuff. Like you said, trying to get the room and everything like that, which is sometimes... A, there's not a convention now, it seems, where I can just grab a room. I remember when I started going to Gen Con 10 years ago, you know... A month or two after they opened up, I could just go grab a room anywhere. And Origins used to be that way until about two years ago. So I I don't miss that. Um, but I too like the buzz. Uh, a lot of all my friends say it's like summer camp for gamers. Uh, it's where you get to get away and see people that you haven't seen in a year and hang out and have all these common things that you talk about. I miss the food. Usually there's a couple places every time I go to Origins or Gen Con that we always frequent. Uh, a regular place like <laughs> I'm going to give this away here. So if you ever go to Gen Con, it's it's a it's a walk. It's about a mile away, but go to a place called Maxine's where they have some of the best chicken and waffles around. Oh, I love chicken and waffles. Love and er- soul food. Every Wednesday, um, we we all get there, a big group of us, and we scooter now <laughs> over to the uh, Maxine's, and we have chicken and waffles to kick off the con. That is a great one. All right. I'm doing that next time. Yeah, the secret's out, Marty. You've let us all know. I know. Well, they deserve the business. They deserve the love. Like I said, it's a little bit of a haul, though, so you got to be committed to it. All right. I'm building two scaffolds. Um, oh, boy. And each of those is worth four points. And I'm going to have to cash in a 10 here. There's a, a five and a one going back. And then I'm going to do a climb or move action by spending a gold. And I will be moving my worker out of the barracks right on up here to get also a gold. And then my final build will be this shiny thing here. And so that takes one more water. And I will be just promoting myself right on mm. over here, just like that. And I will score seven points, and I will claim the ribbon that gives me a free scaffold. Wow. I will ca- cash in the ribbon that gives me a whistle. You had a question, Marty? You, you played this game before. I have, and I'm probably <laughs> going to play it again, too. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. I tripled my points over there. All right. So. I want to wait one more turn before I pull these dudes back. How about you, Matt? Uh, you know, your thoughts on Gen Con? Yeah, Matt. Oh, yeah. all right. Turning the turning the camera back on me. Okay. Um. So my favorite thing about Gen Con, I would have to say, I'm with Marty, man. It's the food. My favorite thing about Gen Con has to be the food. It's uh, I mean, we do end up eating a decent amount of steak and shake, which isn't like great, but no. I don't have milkshakes most of the rest of the year. So, like, it's kind of nice to, to drink some milkshakes. Like, I don't know why I don't. I just don't. And then, mm. um, typically, after we have a successful uh, Gen Con, we have a really nice steak dinner um, as a company for everybody at the company who attends Gen Con with us. We have a really nice steak oh, dinner cool. at St. Elmo's, and I am definitely going to miss that. Um, and I would say the thing I don't miss would be the smell of most bathrooms. Huh, that's fair. 
All right, so if I put this there, I can span the couple machines, correct? Yeah, I did that a, a couple of turns ago. I used all three of those. So you get the whistle at the bottom. I mean, yeah, let me go ahead and just step through this easily. Okay, there's the whistle. You get gonna, the water and the gold from the wet I, gold. I was going to spend the gold immediately for the above. And, oh, I don't have to. Oh, I can, I can, wait a minute. So I get, I can spin the whistle and get two scaffold, right? I mean, I'll right. do that real quick. So the so, water doesn't go up? Oh, we didn't raise the water when I built. Did, yeah. did we now? I'll pause my turn. My next thing is to activate a machine. So go ahead. The, the raising of the water from my build doesn't affect anybody um, because we were all out of the way. But it is the, it is a ticker for the game here. Okay. Good uh, so, catch. Good catch. All right. Then I'm going to activate another. Well, what's, oh, there's a building up top now. There huh. is way up there. Yeah, I'm going to take a gold and a victory point. There you go. And then I will use my ability to turn in one uh, scaffold to draw a card, and I am done. Oh, I can might want to play a card, so let me see what it is. Yeah, you better see what it is. Uh, yeah, Marty's going to play this card, which it looks like turn in a gold for just a uh, draw off the top upgrade. That's correct. Mystery upgrade. So I'll grab one of these. Let's see what this bad boy does. Flip. Wet lung. Oh my gosh, water is wild. And I've got four of those bad boys. Okay, I'm done. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Oh, and do I get the points? Those points for the upgrades will score at the end of the game because they're, they're things get, that can move around or change your, your upgrades. Got it. All right. All right, Scott. Okay. I am going to... Go buy a large machine. Let's see. I'm going to step away from my computer for one second. I'll be right back. I think make a phone. See how that works. All right. So that costs me. Is that three? Three steel and two coal. One, two, whistle, two coal. Uh, I don't have enough resources to get my free two points this time, but that's okay. And that is my turn. I guess we'll be waiting for Luke. Oh, we'll ready for Luke. Uh, I don't think I've had the good Gen Con foods when I've been there. Uh, I, don't, I guess I don't know what all the good places are. Um, uh, we need, I need to show you around. Uh, <laughs> Steak and Shake is, is one of those, it's like, yeah, it's, it's a memory. Um, but get the milkshake and leave. Don't hang around. Um, we used to go to the Brazilian Steakhouse. It's okay. Um, I think the one at Origins is better. And a couple of years ago, we found a German restaurant. Uh, which is about a couple miles away. You usually have to Uber over to it uh, that we've really enjoyed a few times. Sounds sounds really good. I'm I'm used to when I'm working in the booth, I have to like bring a sandwich, <laughs> a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh, there's not always time to eat. Yes. I, w I must admit, though, the uh, the food trucks are pretty good. Okay. Well, and the guy who runs the Bezier booth is like a slave driver, so he really can't get out of line or he, uh... I've heard that. I have heard that, yeah. In fact, <laughs> I'm going to tweet, tweet that right now. <laughs> you talking about the werewolf? Yeah, okay, my, my uh, real boss. Back. Sorry. Okay. I am going to do some cool stuff and things, and that's going to involve me getting hopefully some pieces to do some more building so now um so talking about shortages that can suddenly appear i don't see any coal out there at all anymore i see steel and water 
Good point. I see a whistle over there. Um, but yeah, kind of a shortage there. Man, Marty, that's a great time to get that upgrade then. I was actually going to say, it looks like, meanwhile, as the water rises, it just keeps water available to me for a while. Uh, yeah, that's not, I don't like that at all for competition purposes. Well, when so, I look at the scoring over there, I think I think you're okay. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Yesterday, I seemed to have a lot of the points um, early, but uh, I got crushed. People in the tower matters a lot. I'm going to spend three gold, and I'm going to get this upgrade right here. Mm. And that and just allows you to move a person? Yeah, it allows me to discard a scaffold and move a person. Wow, nice. And ah, should I go ahead and move a person? Do you guys have any machines ready to build over there? Scott's got a little one. No, I don't have one. Little baby machine. Okay, I'm done. My turn's over. All right, well, I really don't have much of a choice here. I'm going to pull everybody back. All right, let me step through this slowly here. So, uh, get a one free build. There's a, yeah, it is. Oh, I, w I wish that wasn't that one. Might want to do this one instead. Thinking. Uh, I have, okay, here's, here's just a general question. Come on. Yes, sir. Flip this one more time. Boop. Nope. This way. Here we go. Boop. Can you leave gaps like that? So you just score less points because there's less adjacent sides. But it's allowed that. Yeah, as long as you have at least one side connected. Um, okay. So you can build awkward, tall um, towers. They can go off sideways in any way, as long okay. as they're touching. There's my free build. Flat, like that. So that's what, one, three points? Uh, looks like four. One. So, yeah, okay. Got it. So four points, of, uh, just grab a five and put the one back. All right. So I could spend the water and do another build. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm, I'm not. Instead, I'm going to use my power to turn into the scaffold. I'm going to draw a card just see what's going to happen this turn oh i have no idea what this card means oh uh, <laughs> what's drawing board here i'll just put it on the table what's drawing board do oh uh, that's the uh that's like the hand refresh you discard a card and any number of, any number of cards from your hand and you draw the number of cards plus one okay that's just a one-time use though all right Put that back in my hand. I don't know where you're going. Get in my hand. There. That's where it's fit. This I ah, get in my hand. There. <laughs> All right. So I'm not going to do another build action, but I am going to spend the gold from here to take this guy from here and move him up there. Nice. Right there. And then I'm going. I have not played a card yet. I would like to play a card. So I get to spend any two resources I want in order to get an upgrade. And I will spend a coal and a water. And I guess it's one of the visible upgrades, right? Yeah. So I'm going to so, take the pawn shop. The, yeah, that's worth a lot of points. Yep. The other two have strong powers, but not as much points. Yeah, but I've already got the all wild one in my. Oh, they're play. all three of these now out are wild ones. And I think that ends my turn. Okay. That was a pretty good turn. Thank you. 
Oh, yeah? Well, let's see what I can do. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm going to pull back. Let's see here. I'm going to build... Here for two points. What's the typical length of game that y'all found once people know it? Uh, I find about two players is uh, 60 to 70 minutes. Um, three mm -hmm. players, uh, three or four players is between uh, 90 minutes and two hours. Mm. It kind of depends on, um, I mean, it depends on style, but uh, it's typically a 90 minute game, like in general. Mm -hmm. It can be less than an hour for two also, um, who players who really know the game. And when's it going to be released? Uh, early fall. Oh, good. Nice, nice. Yeah, so I have very, it this fall. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, this is going to be one of those that is going to get a lot of praise on our show. Oh, awesome. Okay, I'm going to spin my ribbon. Of course, we got a guy that uh, we play with. It's it's one of those that, man, if there's anything with like a little bit of engine building or combos, he just tears it apart. Kind of like the move that you had a couple seconds ago, Luke. It's like, I'm going to do yeah. this, 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 this. Okay. And then five minutes later, we're just like, are you done yet? Right. And it's like, oh, and then I'm going to turn this in for 25 points. Now I'm done. Oh. Yeah, this game lends itself well to to creating those kinds of combos. So I guess I'm right. helping you again. Scott, Scott's doing it right now. Oh, thank you. I put him uh, up there at the right time. There you go. Marty, you get to grab this ribbon with a free build on it. Oh, that's nice. And Scott got the ribbon with the free upgrade on it. Ooh. Uh, it's, yeah. So I get 16. I had seven before. So I'm up to 20, 23. Oh, and the water's going to go up again. Yeah, we're not forgetting this time. This time the water goes up and... Well, I'm dangerously close to that water right now. I think I need to get out of there. Oh, and I have the strength of the nurse. So each of those scaffolds I place is worth an extra point. So I'm going to get points total this turn. Okay. Wow. So that megaphone, this one's new to me. Each player gets a ribbon? Holy yeah. smokes. What kind of ribbon? That's the that's the like the free bonus actions. You know, you you draw them from right down. Oh, here it's random. Oh, bottom, okay. Right? Yeah, that's so, pretty nice. I think it's awesome, and I don't want to do it, but I think I kind of need to also. <laughs> so, are you finished, Scott? Are you still going? Or are you getting your points uh, now? I'm I'm done. Now, are you still getting your points for having loads of resources, or did you did you burn them up? I, I, I haven't gotten that for the last couple turns. Oh, good. Okay. I am going to rotate my juggernaut. And I'm going to use the, the machine hub, the wet gold, and the grab the steel here. So... No, I'm going to do it here and get water. So this way I'll get two water and a gold. One of those waters is going to be used to power another machine. So I get a water and a gold. Then I use the megaphone at the top. And I'm going to collect a whistle. And then we all get to draw a ribbon. Okay. Merry Christmas. Thank you. So we flip those over to see what they are. And I'm hoping for a good bonus action. And I, I got a move action. Hmm. I'm going to use one of my ribbons right now because I can use one per turn. And I will be getting a free scaffold. Nice. And you do get some points for things left in your supply at the end, but you're much better off if you make use of them. Okay. Um, I think I might be in danger of drowning down there, except you guys don't have any machines. So I'm going to still go ahead and 
make use of my hydraulic lift power. So I'm mm. going to discard a scaffold. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move one of my workers. Oh, you can move them from the barracks. Yeah, that that's what mine does. Mine moves them from the barracks. I can collect a resource that I place adjacent to. So I'm going to take an iron. And then I'm all done. Okay. Up something real quick. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, if you hadn't have done that, I was gonna sink your worker. Oh, because I got a, I got a, I got a free build token ribbon. And you have a? Do you have a machine? No, but oh, you're gonna go buy a machine. I was gonna go buy a machine. Well, you still can. Oh, I still can. Oh, I'm still going to. It was just gonna be like extra, extra, extra. You could even buy a machine and promote me. Like um, uh, it's probably gonna. Who's cool? who's got the most points right now? I think that will depend on that. Of course, there's a lot of yellow on the side over here. And so, just an FYI, uh, when you build yep. the next water bar, if it does contact um Luke's airship, his airship will return back home for free. Sure. Just yeah. a heads up. Yes, just would make sure that was clear to everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let me see what I wanted to see. I can do a big, uh, that's a lot of resources for a big. So I'm going to take, yeah, I'm going to take this little guy. We're going to go here. And I'm going to grab this. I'm going to pay one, two, and my water is wild. Three. <coughs> Then I'm going to do a free. Nope. First, I'm going to play a card. This is. Um, I was discard any number. No, I'm going to save that one. All right. So I'm going to pay the ribbon and do the free build action. So somebody going to get promoted here or here? Now, if 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 I cover myself, do I get to go first? Yes. Okay. Um. See, somebody promoted me earlier. Who was nice to me earlier? I, I did. I promoted you. No, it was me. I promoted you. <laughs> we both did. Which one's the uh, werewolf? Is what you really have to figure out. I promoted you and gave you five points down there with the uh, machine. Oh, up. but Scott did give me nine up here. So yeah, we'll go here. he gave you more points than I did. Yeah. I admit it. So I'll move this here and I'll get, I guess I get that ribbon in a second. I'll go ahead and move this. I'll drop yeah. this. And that's how many points? That's what? 12 there. 12 points. And I grabbed that little whistle. Yep. And I think think that's it for me. Okay, now this is raises the water. And sure. Here it goes. The wet gold machine is no longer functional. Ooh. Now oh, I'm yeah, in danger. My there. airship's in the way. I got to move my airship. And I got bumped off the board. Okay, Scott, I think it's your turn. Unless, Marty, you have anything else? I, I do not. Okay. Uh, boy, there's some pretty juicy spots here. Just at, while he's trying to decide. Um, so the, the ribbon I got for the free upgrade, can it be won blindly off the top of the deck? That, I don't think so, but I don't have the reference in front of me right now. I can I think look it up real quick. Yeah, I think it's just one from the, the supply there. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go right here. It's gonna give me 
a whistle. There are two whistles, a gold, a point, and everyone will get a rib ribbon. Yes, oh. the award says specifically gain one face-up upgrade. Thank you. All right, we get another ribbon. We do. Ribbons for nothing. Ooh, I like mine. I get a free card. Nice. I get a free build. I get it. Oh, you get a free scaffold. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, uh, at this point in the game, a free build is uh, is crucial. You get that gives you some really big power. Okay, mm -hmm. Scott. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and turn mine in now and get my scaffold. I will take. One of these. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, that was a pretty cool turn and uh, wacky weird stuff going on out there. I'm tempted to do something similar, but I think what I really need is a machine to make everything complete. I think uh, first thing I'm gonna do is cash in my ribbon which will give me a free card draw. So I take a card into my hand. And, ooh, and I play it. And it's draw two cards. Okay, I can't play any more cards, but I've got those stashed for future use. And now I'm gonna get out there and play. And what I will do is I'm going to play on the archives right here where I will get a victory point, a gold, an iron, and then I get to draw three cards and keep one. So my turn's over, but I'll go ahead and do that. So. Okay, Marty, you can go ahead while I'm doing that. Yeah, so none of y'all have machines, right? Right. Okay. We do not. Um, that is a sweet spot right there, I must admit. Uh, is anyone watching me? Did I already take my iron? Don't think I did. I was okay. not watching you. Well, I might have an extra iron right now. We'll see. I asked this before. You can't span machines with your ships, right? Correct. Okay. You know what? Let's just let's 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 do this. I'm gonna take the the one that's the two size, rotate it. I'm gonna put it right here. So it's gonna give a gold and a victory point. Are you gonna give us another ribbon? Think it may happen. Can wilds be used for whistles? Yes. Okay. Before I do that, I'm going to draw three cards and, and discard two. Um, what does secret door do? You might know. Uh, that allows you to move a worker up or down a level in the tower. Okay. Um, it's usually better earlier on when there's ribbons to grab. Right. But if you look at the bottom here, these workers at the bottom could mm -hmm. go down and grab the ribbon at the bottom. Mm. That's one little spot. Okay. Or so you just move them up for another point. Got it. So I'm going to play this, which just give me two free whistles. Well, I'm going to take one whistle and I'll activate the other one. So everybody grab a ribbon. Nice. Ooh. Mine's a free machine. 
That is so great. Mine is a free card. I will, I'm going to spend it and take that free card. And I have, have I played a card? I did. I grabbed you the did. two whistles. I'm two done. Whistles. Yep. yep. That's, that's my turn. All right. Your combo turns are getting a little better, and you're actually making use of that, that requisition now pretty frequently, huh? Mm hmm Or you have the capacity now to really get some, uh, get some scaffolds, too, as you need them. Yeah. I, got a, I got a free small machine as well. I'm going to go ahead and turn that in. Hmm, one of what did I do? Thing is though, there's not a lot of scaffolds there to build machines. There are not. It's uh it's tight. I'm I'm sitting on a few myself and Scott is too. So All right. I will go ahead and pull back. Okay, I'll do a projection. Take this piece it right there. That's one, two, three, four points. I will spend a gold. This guy that's in danger. Oh, yeah. You were one turn away from losing that one. And spend a whistle to be able to do another build. And I will go ahead and get this guy to safety. So I will go across here. Put that there. That is Gee. a lot of points. That's Between 30 tower, right there. Five. Tower. So that's 10. Actually, a 10 point turn. Oh. Scaffold was worth an extra one because of the strength there. So and, and we're sinking our dudes down here. Okay. Uh oh. Yep. We're going into the water. You guys are going into the water. Hold your breath. And here's the water rising right there. Okay. Two more water rises to trigger the end of the game. Or if we get these guys out of here by then. How much are it's minus five in the water? Yeah, it's minus five for each. I got minus twenty yesterday. That was not good. Okay. Are you finished, Scott? Yes. Okay. Also, now what happened with the tower is it's hard to build in a way that's worth a lot of points. Um but we can build on the top now. That's nice. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna um, be pulling my ships back. So airships return. And I will use a ribbon that gives me a, um, actually, yeah, I'm going to use a ribbon that gives me a free small machine. I'll draw a new one. And so when we've gone for these higher point value machines, they don't necessarily produce as much resources, as many resources. So now I'm going to do a build. So my free build is this. This is worth one point. Then I will spend two, no, I'll spend one, two gold, and I will take my worker from the whirlpool and move that worker up to that scaffold. Um, let's see, I didn't grab one point from the scaffold. When I move that worker, I get one steel because he's a smuggler. 
and then I will use my hydraulic lift and I will discard another um, scaffold. And that second scaffold I discard will allow me to move one of my workers. So I'm going to take this worker from the barracks and he's going up here to the top of the tower as well. All right, so now with those workers <clears throat> in position, I'm gonna spend a water to perform another build. Mm -hmm. And I will rotate. Guy right here. And that one will be worth one, two, three, looks like four points altogether. I'm gonna just slide these workers over here because you know what I'm doing. I'm gonna be building a machine here. And then my final build, which is possible because of a whistle, will be to build this machine. So let me double check the points in that last scaffold. One, two, three, four, five victory points for that one. And then I get the points off of building this machine. And it will be seven points total. And my two guys into tower. And these two guys, the water's rising now. Yeah. Okay, so here comes the water rise. And we're just one water rise away from the end of the game. So when I pull my ships back, can you only get one worker out of the whirlpool or can I pay four and get two workers? You can only do one unless you've got any kind of uh, special abilities like ribbons or cards that would allow you to get more. Mm. Okay. So I moved two, for example, because I used my hydraulic lift and I used the paying of the gold. Mm -hmm. All right, Marty. Yeah, I have no clue what to do here. Um, because it is not looking good. So once that water gets to the top or the last worker leaves that spot of the barracks, then each player gets one more turn except for the player who triggered that. I'm going to step away from my keyboard for one second. There is a spot where you can save people from the whirlpool for free. And oh, duh. That is down there, isn't it? Yeah. I was thinking about going there, but you, you know, after you, sir. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. I was sitting, how can I get him out of the way? I was thinking, I forgot about that spot down there. So I am going to use my last shit to pull one out and send him anywhere that's open, right? So I can go right there. Yeah. All right. And that's my, uh, do I play a card? I do. I want to play. Uh, grab a small machine. Um, yeah, I'm going to play this card, which allows me to discard any number of cards. I'm going to discard two and draw two. Okay. That's my turn. All right. Well, definitely going to use this ribbon and move one of my, my last guy up. He's out of danger. Put him right there. Yep. And then I'm going to place this guy over to here. Two coal, a gold, a steel, 
a whistle, and then that one will get a ribbon. Another ribbon? So tickle. Gold. Steel. Is there steel over there? Yes, a steel and a whistle. Digital. Whistle. A ribbon. Is there any ribbons left? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Last one. All right. Do so you just shuffle these down here and that we discarded? Oh, yeah. Matt, what happens when the ribbons run out? I think they run out. But uh, this is honestly the first game I've seen it happen in. So let me again. This is a crazy amount of ribbons. Yeah. No, this game is very unique. If you put it side by side with the game yesterday and like watched them in fast forward, you would be you'd be like I. I'm not watching two different games. Like it's really fun. It's really cool to watch. I I got the black lung by turning in my ribbon. Wait a minute, I can't do two ribbons in one turn. You can't. No, never, mind. never mind. Put it back. All right, putting this one back. Okay. So I think that's all I can do this turn. Okay. Tension is rising. Something is going to happen here real quick. So is the water. The water is rising. Yeah. So I think the time has come. Let's have one guy left there. I think what I need to do. It appears that they are limited. Okay. Ah, and red. That's uh, that's Marty. Marty put himself out on that little peninsula right there. So if you build, you're gonna have to take him with you. It's better mm. than in the dip, you know. He doesn't bring his water wings. True. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is. Got all of my airships here. There's no easy way to get scaffolding anymore other than just going and buying it. I had so I had infinite scaffolds there for a while and they're gone. Okay. I am going to Take my juggernaut. Oh, and Marty is on the medium gadget space too, which would be a great move for me right now. I'm going to go get scaffold. One scaffold to rule them all. And then I'm going to use one of my ribbons. Um, my ribbon will be the climbing moving ribbon. And so I'm going to see just in case Scott has something up his sleeve. I'm going to move my little worker right next to Scott's. And I am done. I don't, I don't think that's allowed, Luke. <laughs> oh, we have a I designer versus designer throwdown. Okay. I, I think it's I think it's quite allowed. Um Well, I gotta pull mine back, so that's no choice. So go ahead and pull them back. Unfortunately, I didn't plan this out well because I got nothing to build. Um, but I will spend one gold 
to get this last one. Is there open? There's not even an open spot, is there? There is not. Not unless you can get a scaffold out there somewhere. Gosh. There's no way to claim a scaffold. Cold blooded. Well, then I guess I'll spin two. By the way, you should trade in those um, ribbons one per turn. Uh, yep. End of the game, you won't be able to. Yep. Um, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to, I guess I'll take, oh, I can't even take him out of the water. There's no place to put him. That's right. This is a total wasted turn. I pulled back all the ships. I've got nothing to build and I can't pull anybody out. Yeah, my uh, my thoughts in this game just totally changed. Just right there on the spot. Bam. Hang on there, Marty. <laughs> you, all right. I'm turning it. You're the requisitioner, and you could actually discard a card to get a scaffold that you could build. It goes back either way. Oh, my gosh. I didn't think about that. Yeah. I didn't think it could go either way. Oh, yeah, that's – I'm an idiot. I'm turning back in my six points and because I may want that uh, – di do a different ribbon. And then you might want to do the build ribbon. Um, yeah. To build the scaffold. And so now I'm his gonna, thoughts on the game have completely changed the back. Best game ever. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to pull this down here. Because that gives me two open spots. And so I've used my ability. Now I can. I still had to pull back my ships. So now I got a free build coming. Oh, yeah. You've got free builds and, and all that, too. I'm going to stick that right there. Then I will pay one gold to get the, my last worker right there. And just a, just a little bit. It's a little tight. And then I'll turn in the ribbon to get six points. Now I'm done. All right. You guys are safer there. Uh, you get points for building your scaffold also. Oh, that's that right. Good build. You're going to get five points for that one. Yeah. Very good. Now I'm done. Close game. All right. This time I'm going to turn in my upgrade ribbon to get that. Black lung, which means for me, coal is wild, and I happen to have poor coal. How about that? Hmm. It's a coincidence, I'm sure. And then I'm going to go to this medium building, and I will get. Oh, that's the spot I was going to use this turn, too. One, two, Three, and I'll take, I'll take this one here. Looks interesting. And I think that's what I'll do. Okay. Can the medium buildings be rotated anyway? Yes. When you, yeah. when you place them? Okay. Totally. Are you done, Scott? Yes. Okay, it's time for recycling. So I'm going to recycle. And I will recycle one of these. And I'm going to get a coal and a steel from it. And then I'm going to Try a, well, that's kind of risky move. I could actually try to get a giant gadget and hope that I could get lucky and build it. Um, and then I could just see that getting blocked up when I tried. Let's try this. I'm just going to go and get a small gadget. So I'm going to spend a coal and a whistle. And I will be sending my hot air balloon up to get a small gadget, which oh, that's my medium ship, which I know I'll be able to place no problem. 
Um, let's see. I played a card. I am done. Okay. Uh, I'm going to send my little ship over here. Take this guy. Put him right there. Out of the, out of the whirlpool. Then I'm going to turn in this card to get a scaffold. Uh, that one's uh, to activate a gadget. No, I'm sorry. I'm using my special ability. Oh, my apologies. No, that's all right. Yeah, your special ability. Um, I'll take this. Then I'm going to use a my build ribbon. This up here. Put that right there for what three points? Mm -hmm. Now I could have built that giant gadget. So I played a ribbon. I played a card. I moved my ship. I'm done. Great. Okay. Everybody's surviving this time, it looks like. It's only Scott, Scott has two guys left in the whirlpool. Okay. We'll have to stand. We'll see. I'm going to pull back. There. That's five points for that one. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to spend. That's what one, two, for that one. It's four. It's five points because I got the strength in there. Okay. So that's five. Then a gold, a wild, and those guys from the whirlpool. Can't leave anybody behind. Again. There. Okay. Go ahead and place this one. I'm going to rotate it. Wow. I'll go ahead and do that. And that's what? One, two, three, four, five. This one is six points for that one. Yep. And and a resource so how to do that extra build here we go and so your last this guy moves over that guy's yeah he's gonna move over and the water oh. rises and and that's place, the last guy out of the out of the tower yeah. out of the barracks place, gonna place this guy here this is worth eight points All right, so that means uh, Marty, you and I each get one more turn. Ah, shoot! I needed one and more I'm gonna, turn. I'm going to activate the, my building. Been a cool. And I'm going to save my last guy and place him. Place him right here. And that's my turn. Okay. Um, so we're looking at my final turn now. So I'm going to be also forging. So I'll pull back my airship. And then I'm going to, I really need water to do two builds. But it's my lucky day because I've got a ribbon that'll let me run a machine. So I'm going to run the machine that gives me one water and one victory point. So I get a water and a victory point. And then I will do two builds. So, so, got 
You are there. Hmm. How could I? I can't. I have no way of moving my guy. Ah, I do. I have no way of both moving my guy and doing the build. So I've got to choose. So I'm going to take... This is my... One of my builds here. See, I got to flip and then rotate. That build right there is worth five points. Then I spend a water. And I'm going to build this machine, which is worth six points. And I hate to do this, but Scott, you're going with me here. I've got no choice. Nice. Nice. Six points. Sorry, Marty. That wasn't my plan. And that is it for me. My final turn is complete. There is 27 points sitting on those scaffolds that I cannot get over. Oh, I was hoping I to go one more round. I should have <clears throat> built and just given them all to you, right? As our guest. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't. I got no cards in my hand. Ribbons don't let me build. Can't use my ability. What's, uh, what's the resources worth at the end? This ribbon right here gives you an upgrade. Upgrades are worth points. Yeah, also. but uh, any leftover resources, what are those worth? It's uh, it's one for every four. Is that correct? Got Matt, Matt or Scott? Is it one for every yeah, four? Yeah, one for every four for the resources. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, then I will take get the free upgrade, and I'll get the one that's worth the most points. What's that one do, by the way? Winter circle. So it uh, might be good that, that you took that one. Um, uh, let me double check before I get your hopes up too much. But is it a random? I thought maybe it was a random ribbon. It's when you it's Pay when you promote a guy into the tower, uh, you get a ribbon. Ah, uh, okay. okay so there's yeah. no more ribbons left. The ribbons are all right. gone. Never mind. Not so exciting. Yeah, it's it's so, not. So I, I can still send out a ship, and there's no ships that. Well, here, let me let me try this. Maybe I can draw into something. Who knows? We're gonna go right here because then I can draw three cards and keep one. Right. And plus, I get a coal. Please, for the love of everything. No, there's no way. There's no way to get a free build out of this and a machine. Nope. Nope. And, oh, my gosh. There is a build. If I only had a machine. If you only had a machine, huh? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You could have uh, gotten a machine. I could have gotten a machine. I should have done. No, I couldn't. You can't do both. Yeah, I, I couldn't have placed the ship in order to get the uh, machine. <laughs> it's funny. I've got one card that gives me a machine, one card that lets, lets me build. Okay, so I can only keep one. So are any of these worth anything? Cards aren't probably worth anything at the end. I uh, flipped one of the score cards over for you. Um, I flipped over the blue player's card because on the back there's a scoring um, cheat oh, nice. sheet. Oh. And I know that... The boards were previously locked, so we couldn't flip them. But I had Gil set them so they're unlockable, and you can flip them. So I flipped the blue one over if you want to check out how everything's scored at the end, Marty. I think if you double-click okay. it, it brings it up super close to your face, and then you can check it out. All right, I'm going to play this card. It gives me just a free scaffold. And then the very last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to activate my upgrade where I can turn in any two resources for a victory point. Great. And I think that's my turn. Okay. And that's uh, it. Scott, your build ended the game, so this is the 
full end of the game so we can roll through the scoring right now. Yep. So we, we start with the tower. And so you add up the points for each of your workers in the tower uh, based on the levels that they are on. You just grab the scoring tokens to indicate that. Yeah. So I got 52 points from that. Wow. I got 36. Wowie zowie. I got 26. Man, if I had that other 27, that would have been good. That would have been really good. It'd been better than both of us. Okay. Then nobody's in the whirlpool. So we don't have to do subtracting for that. Then we get points for our upgrades. So look at the upgrades that you have. Mine's just worth three. I got 11 from that. I got 13 for that one. Okay. Then for each unbuilt machine is worth one point. Each unused ribbon is worth one point. Every two scaffolds in your supply is worth one point. Every two cards in your supply is worth one point and every four resources is worth one point. So I get two more points. And then we're going to add them up. I think I might have you, Luke. Oh, I don't want to hear that. I have 132. Yeah, I got 149. Ah. Uh, oh, at least I broke 100, 101. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're kind of in the shark tank here. <laughs> yeah, okay, since so... I showed this to these guys on Monday, Marty, they have played it a ton. They've been really excited about it. So they are, they've, been, they've been really enjoying it. Yeah, no, this is good, y'all. This is this is really good. I think this is going to do well for y'all this fall. How's your How's your brain burn? Does it feel um, good? it does feel good. It does feel good, but it's one of those that's not like excruciating. Yeah. Um, because I, I love the idea. It's like I can place a ship. I can pull back my ships, and wherever you place a ship, you get to do something. When you pull back, you get to do something. So, the actions are simple, but it's just what you do with them that really makes you think a lot. Thank you so much for playing, Marty. I had a good time, and um, I think I was winning about two thirds of the way through, and that felt good. <laughs> <laughs> there, well, at there, one point, I think I felt the energy from Marty that he started feeling like he was falling pretty far behind, but he was one machine away from like almost like beating or dying you guys. Like that was so yeah. close. Well, That's yeah, true. I was I was one machine away at least from being within like fifteen points. So at least been a little bit more respectable. Yeah. The three guys there not not getting into the tower is uh, it's kind of brutal. And Scott had four guys on the top. That's forty points. Yeah, that's just huge. Yep. Oh, there's that's... there's four up there. Uh oh, he scored ten. He scored another ten. Um, wait, let me let me hide one over here. No, there's <laughs> three now. <laughs> oh, it's one. Okay, sorry, it's one fifty one fifty nine. Didn't have to tell us. <laughs> well, I gotta make I gotta make sure I have it for the T-shirt I'm getting made for him. So I like to make sure I have the right score. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, well, Matt, for organizing a, this. This is great. I had a lot of fun. Um, I wish we could go get chicken and waffles. Oh man! Oh, that sounds good. Uh, I drive. Cards. <laughs> next year, yeah. guys. Let's all plan it for next year. I'm in. Sounds great. Sounds yeah. good. Okay, I'll be signing off. And Thank uh, you for the I'll demo. see you out there online. Uh, take care, and I uh, hope uh, hope uh, more folks get to enjoy this game as time goes on. Yep, I will sure be promoting it. Thanks, everybody. Awesome. Thank thanks, you. guys. It's, gr it's great to meet you, Marty. Great to meet you, too, man. And thanks for all you guys do for making uh, this time a little bit more bearable. So you, oh, yeah. you, you, guys will help, you guys will help me make the fall more bearable with this game. That's great. Appreciate it. Thank thanks, you guys. guys. Take Thank care. You.